Hey everyone, Nick. Looking at Lowe's, but not to dissect the stock. I just wanted to give you a reminder that charts do matter. Um, I have this debate all the time, technicals versus fundamentals. I say both. If you want to be a fundamental trader, that's great. But if you don't use the technicals, you're making a mistake. I will prove it to you right now. Okay, so this is Lowe's. They reported earnings. Today is the 20th. They reported earnings, and then the stock popped uh, overnight, well, at off hours before the open, and then uh, flipped. So they reported great re re results, and so there was reason to spike. But I um, just want to show you where exactly it, it – this doesn't reflect the overnight hours. I don't have after-hour um, ticks here, but I did plot it exactly where it was. So here it is. This was the overnight pop, 126.97, I think. So, in fact, I have it right here. Okay, so this was the overnight action, 126.97, lows. All right, so I put a bar there, and look what it touches. I mean, within pennies. There are no coincidences. Okay, look at where they bounce. the bounce here is exactly at the line I drew, which is just a trend line connecting two dots. Machines these days control most of the trading and they they need ratios and and relativity to trade they can't make decisions based on what, some, what something what looks like they need actual facts facts are this stuff that's the facts they use so if you're not paying attention to the technicals and you start buying it here you're ignoring the fact that last time it was here the machines sold it so chances are the first time they go back to it the machines are going to sell it until they build a better base. They want to test the waters, build a better base, and then re-attack it. Okay, so this is, let's go to a daily chart and reset it. Okay, so this is a daily chart. And to see where this was headed, um, this this was supposed to be a powerful move because if you chart like an inverse head and shoulders, the rally should have been this big. But this COVID thing, I would count anything below here as mistake, like this candle right there. The, literally the world stopped working so this whole thing was a mistake in fact you can shave it off so if you think about it it's going to look like um, like this shave that off so this is a complete mistake so when they come back to here and they make a bowl and then they break out now suddenly the upside potential is this much um, not all the way to here so you have to be realistic but the technicals do matter and this was not an entry point um, so regardless of what they said it was going to face uh, some selling pressure and this is what it looks like on a weekly basis so was that an all-time high just almost set yeah so this is a monthly chart let me reset it okay, so that's a one month chart in lows it's important to pay attention to the technicals especially if you're a fundamental trader this will increase your chances in uh, getting into or at least making fewer mistakes grabbing a handful of longs when it's exactly the wrong time or bailing on your longs when it's exactly the wrong time like a fall into here shouldn't get you out of the stock in fact it should have you build more all right next signing up